Here is a Lasco 2002W VN. This is a 6 inch VN type 6 1, whatever that means. And uh, let's see here, there's some more information. I think it's the same information. Anyways, this is an excellent VN. By far the best 6 inch desk VN I've ever used. And that's pretty unusual. A lot of styles of VNs, like a box VN or whatever, there's not one particular model that really consistently stands out to me. This one does in pretty much all aspects. I bought these a couple years ago. I bought two of them and I've used both of them a lot. Um, there's been a lot of cases where these things run like days on end because they're so quiet and they're so effective they sit there and they just do their job and I forget that it's even running and that is one of the things that you can tell something's a really good product if it does its job and you don't even notice it doing it. So this is what it looks like on a back. The only thing I don't like about it is this switch is, is not the easiest thing to use. It kind of stays firm on top of the speaker but depending on the surface it's on it will slide around a bit. It's got a little handle there for carrying it. Two speeds. And despite the plasticky grill and everything that looks like it wouldn't be too aerodynamic this is an extremely quiet fan and it's quite powerful too. Start it up on low. Okay, so you can hear, you can barely hear it running. And I'm standing about four feet back from it and it's producing a plethora of breeze more than adequate you know if you're sitting there at a computer or you know whatever even if I go all the way across the room I can still feel it and in fact a lot of times I do use it I'll have it over here and I use it when I'm sitting at that desk over there It's almost inaudible, you know, during normal noise of the day, it's completely negligible. Alright, let's go to two. Feels pretty well balanced too, it doesn't really vibrate or shake or anything. See it's moving that plant around. And this is only a little six inch plastic fan. That's probably six feet away from it. Now you can hear it on high. It's not inaudible on high, but it's not really obtrusive either. And for the amount of air it's moving, not bad at all. And then it has this little thing there you're supposed to put, I don't know, paper clips or something in there. I've never used that, but it doesn't hurt to have it there. Okay, and we'll cut it off. I've never oiled this before, and the spin down time is still pretty satisfactory. I've noticed in a lot of these fans of this style, they have this the cheap C-frame shaded paw motors, and the bearings in those always become noisy after just a couple of years or sooner in most cases. And these, I mean, these are going on three or four years old now. I don't know if they just have a date code on it. I don't really see one, but it's it's been I want to say at least four years since I've had these. And no lubrication, 
other than a cleaning I've done nothing to them and there's no bearing noise there's no signs of the bearings even deteriorating I've never opened one of these up to see what kind of motor is in there but I think it's like um, I think it's a two pole motor two pole three pole motor perhaps let's make better quality bearings I don't know one of these days I gotta get in there and open it up and see what the insides look like and see how easily serviced it is but either way it's a great desk fan by far my favorite one